it's the whole piece of being with people you love every day, every moment. We truly had a wonderful life. My mom was a very giving person, uh, unconditionally loved her children. Margaret was a remarkable woman, the smile on her face, and she had the brightest eyes. She was just one of those people that was always thinking of somebody else. We all got to spend time with her and rec recollect different events in the family and different memories that we had as children. She could respond through grabbing your hand and smiling. And it was just, it just felt so good. There was a peace about it. We all took time with her. And uh, I sat next to her and I held her hand and I was talking to her. and. And uh, I don't know if she was listening or not. And then all of a sudden her left hand went over on top of mine and she was squeezing my hand. So I knew she could, she could hear us. And uh, that meant a lot to me. I said, I'll always be with you right by your side. She's dying and she squeezes my hand. I said, I will. I stood right by her. Honey, I shall always will be with you. It ended the most perfect way it could have ended for her. And she went out on her own terms, on her own terms, in her own home, with the medications that she wanted to take and with her family around her. It couldn't have been, a, been better for, for the family, but most important for my mother. And we truly respected her wishes and we were able to take care of her. Um, her family was very loving. There was somebody always here. And we were able to respect her wishes and take care of her in her home and let her pass the way she wanted to. I shall never forget the treatment from hospice because that was the end of her life and my life. When she went, my life went with her. And hospice made it so wonderful in so many ways. <laughs>